Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks that will help you turn a small tiny wardrobe closet into a more functional space. Now I only have a 6x3 closet in here, but you'd be surprised after I decluttered and got all organized how much stuff I actually got in here. So, let's get started. If you have a small space that just is not working for you like this one I have, where you have your shoes on your floor, your clothes are all crammed in here, and you have things that are, don't belong in your closet at all, it's time to clean your closet. Now this is really hard to do when you have a small space and you and you need to put things in here that, that could, should go somewhere else but don't, it's time to move them out. And the first part of this is going to be obvious and that is going to be declutter. To start, take every single thing out of your closet so you know exactly what you have to work with. And then you can start going through piece by piece to see what pieces that you want to keep and which ones you want to donate. And I even had my wedding dress in my closet. And then I went ahead and cleaned all of my shelves. And then this is the space I have to work with. Now I'm going to start with using things that I already have at hand so I'm not having to purchase anything that I don't need. And I'm just going to go ahead and put an extra shelf in here that I did have in my garage. But start with what you have first. And I had an extra shelf so I went ahead and added this to my closet. And this is what I took out of my closet. It's hard to believe that all this went into my closet. And now I've got to decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to donate and what I'm going to find a new home for. So first thing you have to do is you have to go through every single piece and decide if it's a keep or if it's a, if it's a donate. And if I can't decide on a piece, I ask myself if I would buy it again and if not, I let it go. Okay, for my shirts, I purchased these little hanger clips and they just go on the hanger. I'm putting one on the front and one on the back. Now, I tried to do this where they tiered, but I have eight foot ceilings in my house. So I had to put, I put one on the front and one on the back. They're not meant to be the, that way but they did work but see I, I would never have had a room to hang one lower than that so I'm just going to turn it around backwards and put it onto the back side of that hanger and I'm going to do all of my shirts this way this will give me three times as much space as I had before and you could do it by color and you could do it by season as well okay on a space where I have a little bit of higher shelf I'm going to hang these tiered hangers and you load those up and then you just lift it up and lay them down. Now I was concerned that these weren't going to hold a lot, the weight of them, but these actually held all my coats and everything. These are really pretty sturdy. And then I'll give you the link for all these in the description below, but these actually they'll hold several several items and then you just tear them down and then they don't take up but a little bit of space. And then for my pants, I got these hangers. I got two different um, styles of these, and you just hang them up, and then you just add your um, pants to these, and then you'll tear these down as well. And then I also picked up some different ones. These are some metal ones. I think that these are a little bit more heavy duty than the other ones, but these load up just exactly the same way, and they really are a space saver. Okay, for my boots, I'm just going to take the pool noodles from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put those inside of my boot and I'm going to just cut them up to the top of the length of the boot. And actually now they have a knife for cutting the pool noodles at Dollar Tree and it actually is a pretty good piece. I'm just going to do that for my little short boots too. Okay, instead of hanging up my tank tops, because they do take up a lot of space, I'm just going to fold these up, and I'm going to put these in these little bins that I got. And I'll show you. These are actually great for um, drawer organization, but I'm going to actually put these in my closet as well. But just kind of roll them up, and then you stick them into these little accordion-looking things. And you can get quite a few tank tops in one of these. And I'm just going to fill... It, it took two of these to fill all of mine up. And then I'm going to put them in a basket with some other things as well. These are a great space saver. I'm going to get a few more of these for my drawers. Then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my scarves, but I'm using a little bit more elongated piece so that you can just roll them up and put them in there. And then it kind of keeps them from getting so wrinkled. But just kind of fold them up and then roll them up. And you can get quite a few in this. I got all my scarves in this one little packet. It just really organizes it up and takes up a lot less space. And then I'm going to take a regular basket and I'm just going to put both of these in here together. I'm going to put my tank tops on the bottom, my scarves on top, and then I will put that on a shelf in my closet. 
A great space saver for purses and bags is to put them inside of each other. So I'm just going to put my smaller ones inside my larger bags and I'm going to really condense these up as much as I can. This really does take up a little bit less space or a lot less space if you do it this way. And then I'm just going to put these on one of my shelves in my closet like this. Hey, this is a great buy if you don't have a lot of shoes. This box comes with 12 boxes, and I'm telling you, read your instructions really good before you start, because I did have to take mine apart a couple of times and, and make the drawers go the same way, or when I actually started hooking them together, because they do snap together. You need to make sure that you look at the directions first. I started and just went with it, and then I didn't get to that part, but you just bend these little top tabs over, and then your drawers snap onto it. Or your doors snap onto it. Just kind of make sure that your doors are all facing the same way and that the little tabs at the bottom are all facing downward or upward. And you want to make sure that they've got that right because they are they won't stack if you don't do that. But I think I'm even going to get a pack of these for my craft room because these were really sturdy when I got them put together and I think I could use those in my craft room for crafts as well. Okay, baskets and bins and boxes are a great way to put little things in your closet that you don't want seen and still makes it look nice and neat in there. To store away all my blankets, I just got this little bag from Timu and I'm just going to fold them all up and put them inside. And what I like about this bag is it does have a window in the front so you can see what's in it. You could also store clothes in there for off seasons, but um, I'm just putting my blankets in it because I do need to put those in the closet because I have nowhere else to put them. Okay, truth be told, I actually had five bags that I'm donating, but this really did help declutter my closet. Okay, if you like these kind of videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want to see future videos like this too. I really had a good time doing this. I'm going to show you the reveal. Okay, so I stacked my boxes of my shoes up on this shelf and I reused some of the baskets that I already had. And then for my clothes, I made all this kind of room. I actually have room to go shopping now. And then I put my bag of um, the blankets over there in the corner on the shelf. I got everything up off the floor, which really made it look nice. Got all my boots in one location. Got all my long hanging things over on this side. Um, I got my tank tops and my scarves up in that basket up there. It really does feel good to clean your closet out. If you like this kind of video, be sure and give me a like. And if you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you guys.